In this segment of Talk With Us, we will discuss the new and improved touchscreen display that is part of the Sage 2.1 boiler control system, which comes standard on every Burnham Alpine condensing gas boiler from U.S. Boiler Company. Hello, my name is Peter Clune. I work for U.S. Boiler Company, a product development engineer. I'm here today to speak to you about the Alpine. The model has an improved display that in increases the convenience of the user for for operation and troubleshooting. It's easier to use, has more information per screen, uh, I'll be showing it to you. We made um, changes to the system that our boilers when installed uh, are more efficient um, than other boilers in the industry. But most importantly, um, what we've done is created a, a, a platform that um, leads the industry in reliability. To begin our discussion, I'm going to point out some features of our existing Alpine boiler. This is the Alpine's existing display. Um, it's an intuitive display. Um, it gives you an overview of what um, your firing is doing. Here we have a set point, a supply temperature, and, and it gives you the firing rate and what we're firing to. Um, give you trends here. We can see a trend. But here we're limited by the amount of information that would fit on the screen. Uh, our new screen has a higher resolution and it's actually physically larger. We gave a lockout history, but we were limited to five lockouts. Our new display, as I'll show, uh, has 10, and it gives you more information about each lockout. Um, on this display, we gave uh, information about the open limit circuit, but we were limited to how we could describe what the open limit was. Now we can be very specific about what the open limit was. Uh, under sensor fault, um, we used to give you information about each sensor, its status, whether it was in good condition or had a fault. Now we give you the values of every sensor here because we have the extra space. Let's take a look at the new model. This is a really impressive display. It has 208% more pixels, so I have more space to write things. It has 40 times the contrast and five times um, the brightness. It's, well, it's brighter, has greater contrast, and it's, um, I have a lot more space. Um, this is our home screen. Um, if we look at the difference, we hit status. Um, I have more space to show things. Um, bar graphs are longer. Um, the trends, now I can note the time. I have a five minute trend. Um, and I have a great, much greater resolution to show uh, what the blower rate is doing. Um, I can also show a two pen um, supply and return um, graph. So now we can really see the, um, the delta T, which will become more important to us as we push for, for greater efficiency. Further, if we look at the help screen now, um, I have under full status, my limit string um, status, I can show um, specifically, you know, what is the open limit. You don't have to you know, look at the instruction now, you can see it much clearer here. Um, under soft lockouts and hard lockouts, I can give a, a full description. Um, under the sensor status, I can give all a reading out of all your sensors. I can show you the value of all the temperatures that we're monitoring. Um, the 420 milliamp, I can give you the milliamp reading of what we're receiving if you have um, an interface from a building automation system. The biggest improvement, you know, beyond the convenience of a bigger display where I can show you more information, is the greater uh, adjustability and the things we did with adjustability. Let's take a look at some of the adjustability. To adjust well, we select adjust. Um, uh, right now, I've been logged in as a factory password. One of our goals, the first goal I'm going to talk about, we, we do things to prevent cycling, to reduce the, the amount of cycle that we're experiencing. Uh, one thing we added was um, the system display. We um, we added anti-short cycle um, time. This is the maximum time that we allow boiler to restart after a call for heat has ended. So if zone valves or uh, a thermostat is calling um, too frequently, the boiler will only respond. Um, as fast as this, it won't respond quicker, it won't start and stop quicker than a minute. It's adjustable up to 20 minutes. Under 
um, domestic, we added um, uh, a speed adjustment. Um, there are cases where our boiler will be installed with a, um, an indirect water heater that's too small or too large. So now we'll allow you to adjust the speed the boiler has in response to um, different size indirect water heaters. Uh, we made it simple with adjustment to fast as a 5 and slow as a 1. Uh, boiler shipped to you as a 3 in the middle speed. Um, under, it's a valuable feature under um, outdoor reset, it's called boost. Um, outdoor reset is the feature that allows um, us to adjust our boiled water temperature. The temperature of the water going around the radiators, radiators of the house um, in relation to outdoor air temperature. Imagine the water is going around the outside of your house and, and the heat is going up into your house and out the walls um, to the outside. So if the outside temperature changes, it gets colder, we increase the temperature of the water in those pipes going around your house. Um, if it gets um, warmer out, we decrease the temperature. Now, we want to set that up optimally. So there's this perfect balance between the outside air and the heating of the house. So you have a consistent, comfortable heat. Um, now, if you set it up optimally, you run the risk of a house being cold. Um, say someone leaves the door open, the window open. Um, now the house is cold, or if you had a party, a lot of people came in, and now you have more body heat in the house. So now it's a different situation. So um, we want to set it up optimally, and we want you to be comfortable um, today and every day that you own um, a U.S. boiler. So we have a feature called Boost. Um, Boost will take the temperature, um, and if in 10 minutes we haven't satisfied the coffee, the house is cold, will increase the uh, water temperature 10 degrees for each 10 minutes. It doesn't satisfy the call for heat. Um, now, we want to do this in a way that um, is suited for your house. So, you adjust the boost temperature here. Uh, under central heat, when you establish your set point, um, what is the water temperature you want for a zero degree day? That's this, this setting. So, when you adjust this setting, um, now we adjust the maximum boost point. So if you decided my house, because of the radiation I've installed, um, uh, I want the water to be 160 degrees. Boost will only take you to 160. So in essence, boost, the way US boiler uses it, um, will erase the outdoor reset curve if someone, say, opened the window. So we're going to keep the, the room warm, um, and um, we're not going to have um, a need for a callback of the contractor to make an adjustment. Boost. And, and your set point for your zero degree day, these are factor defaults. Boost is set as it's factor default and, and does its work automatically. Uh, I'm speaking of things that you can adjust if you'd like to, but if you don't touch them, it, it's set to work that way. Um, our next feature is uh, has to do with mobile boiler installations. Um, we have an internal uh, multiple boiler peer-to-peer uh, -peer network. Um, it's designed by us and tested by us. Um, it operates our boilers in the most efficient way possible. Uh, we have a new feature now in, in this area. Um, it's called um, base load common rate. Um, we, the Alpine boiler is a um, modulating condensing boiler. Modulating condensing boilers um, run most efficiently when they're running at low uh, firing rate. At low firing rate, you actually condense the moisture in the flue gases, um, and when they condense, they give up their latent heat of uh, vaporization. So you produce water into the drain rather than steam up the stack. Steam up the stack is a waste of energy. So the name of the game in the system efficiency and modulating condensing boilers is to get your boilers running at low fire. So when we have multiple boilers, we have an adjustable rate, factory set at 50%, so the boilers um, come on at 50 and modulate below 50% until all the boilers are running. Uh, in this way, we um, bring boilers on and run them in their efficient uh, mode as long as possible. We maximize the amount of time that the boilers are at low fire and um, produce the most efficient heat possible. Um, the value is adjustable if we find that there's a higher number we want to use that um, will cut cycles or reduce the cycles but um, we have found that the 50 is working really well.
One of the unique features of our modulating condensing boilers is our ability to have the indirect piped directly to a boiler. So one boiler is, um, if you will, married to an indirect, or you can have the indirect um, pipe to the primary header where it will um, can be serviced by all the boilers. So if one boiler fails, you still make uh, hot water for showers. Um, so we have the ability to, you can select boiler pipe or primary pipe for your location in your indirect work. If you choose primary pipe, um, we have the ability to start two indirect water heaters at the same time. Um, you select a two um, boiler um, start, and now we'll start two boilers for an indirect um, water heater called for heat. Um, this is particularly important if we consider essential heat, we're going to run it as efficiently as possible. Now we'll let you start 100% of a boiler for um, a fast uh, domestic hot water recovery. We, we allow you to adjust the time delay between boilers. It's a fine tuning point, but for those of you out there that want to uh, further optimize the, uh, the cycling of multiple boilers, uh, we give you this adjustment. We've made changes to improve system reliability. Um, our boilers are often installed in applications where you have, um, say, a zone valve system, where you have our boilers are in a boiler loop and they can put, and they have constant flow, water from the boiler pump puts water around the boiler loop and the system pump then it can travel out to the system if the system pump is running. Um, we have applications where the system pump is not running at certain times while we have a call for heat or the system pump has no flow, all the zones closed um, uh, in an apartment building. So in those applications we've improved our ability to adjust the boiler um, firing rate. Um, even when our, so we're, we're, we have a multiple boiler application and we have a header sensor and we're firing the boilers um, to satisfy the header sensor. At the same time we're monitoring our supply temperature. So if the supply temperature gets over a certain temperature we begin to run back early enough so that we're reducing the firing rate well before um, we get in any place where it will cause um, a manual reset lockout. In summary, uh, our Alpine boiler has improved convenience. Um, we've taken the display and we, we have a larger display with greater pixels. We get more status information uh, and additional adjustability. Um, additionally, the diagnostics allows you to get information on the display that you normally would have had to have gotten from the instruction manual. We've improved the operating efficiency. The efficiency of the boiler will see when it's inside um, your home. Um, one of the things we did, we, we talked about, was that um, our boost is now improved. The way boost can allow the user to set an aggressive outdoor reset that's optimized for your home and then also uh, maintain um, home comfort. Um, the next thing we did was um, help, we gave you a tool to reduce cycling. Um, as we reduce cycling, we, we increase the efficiency, so we have reduced cycling um, features. Uh, for multiple boilers, we put in features that will uh, allow the boilers to operate at the most efficient rate as long as possible. And finally, uh, we have a boiler that has industry-leading reliability. Even in extreme hydraulic um, applications where the boiler is forced to recirc all its water, um, our boiler is going to stay online and provide heat to the home. And uh, once again, this is Peter Clunen from U.S. Boiler, and thanks for watching. This has been another in the series of Talk With Us videos. Watch for more new programs and U.S. Boiler Company products, announcements on new video programs, and links to our YouTube channel with all of our Talk With Us programs can be found on the U.S. Boiler Company Facebook page.